Hey, hey, hey! Welcome to Jason is a Social Scientist. By Mouth Daily, till number 950. 950 pills. Just 50 away from 1,000 pills. Um, I was gonna try to do a long show, double live, and get my shower underway, but I, I don't know, I just, I'm having a hard time. I don't know if I'm tired of hearing that. Anyway, what the heck? You wondering what the show's about? People often wonder what the show's about. The premise is deceptively simple. I take my HIV medication, live in the book of faith each day in front of friends, family, and strangers. I do so in order to embrace stigma, dispel ignorance, and find support. After 950 pills, 950 shows, a number of bells, whistles, and bows have risen up and around and about the show. The bells, bows, and other people, the people that come back night after night and give me the most valuable resource, their time. To me, that's the most significant thing that's risen up and around and about the show, the community. Therein lies the support that I was looking for. But a number of bells, whistles, and bows have risen up and around and about the show. Ding dong bell. Where does she now? Hell, I mean, heck, this show has it all. I like to say that it is Cloud Atlas and that it incorporates at least 600 years of entertainment with Edward R. Murrow's radio broadcast on record and the cylinders played in the 19th century, edits and home phonograph, along with the nursery rhyme book from my childhood containing woodcut illustrations from the 15th century. It is, in a sense, also The Matrix. In a previous iteration of the show, I created something I call the Rainbow Tunnel, in which I harnessed the power of Grayskull and the Eye of Pandera, funneling them through a series of warp and cells, creating a static warp bubble and a subsequent singularity, punching a hole through the fourth wall, across the multiverse, and into the source. The show now takes place in an echo chamber created by me that serves as a way station between our reality and the source. I don't expect lay people to fully understand that this is advanced social science. Yes, the show is also like an old-timey variety show, Carol Burnett style, mixed with a merry melody of Looney Tunes and a measure of Mark and Mindy, a dash of Nanu Nanu, a dash of Mr. Ed, and two two doses of Alice in Wonderland, a helping of Hee Haw, heaps of Benny Hill, a hint of the Highlander, tons of the Twilight Zone, a tincture of Teen Wolf, ow, 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 an ounce of Oz. Cup of creep show and cast away. A quart of quantum leap and a gallon of Gilligan's Island. It's a four minute show and a four minute tour. Piles of Huey's Playhouse. A pinch of Peter Pan. A pound of Popeye. I am what I am. A whole block of Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood and a ration of the Rocky Horror Picture Show. I'm just a sweet transvestite. I'm trans. Sexual. Transylvania. Ah, ha, ha. Come up to the lab. See what's on the slab. You can see you shiver with Antissa. Patient. Touch me. I want to be dirty. Thrill me. Chill me. Full. Fill me. Creature of the night. An undone Benjamin Button. A corny ear of Dumbo. A college cry of I spy. A couple raw strokes of Bob Ross. A spoon full of Mary Poppins. And a full Monty. Python, finally lumping Rick and Morty with a leader, a leader, a leader of I Love Lucy in the Sky with diamonds and wham bam. Thank you, ma'am. You've got the show. Everything is out of place and out of time here, including and especially me. April will always be pregnant. Harambe will always be ready. 
for her high five. She's the first and the second coming will always be risen with the Obamas getting blowjobs from the Woodies, the Supermen, and their boners will always be spinsters and sempstresses working the sweatshop. The twin, twin towers will always stand with Lady Liberty. You will have their MTV. Pink will fly. Disco and dance will rain. Like men did in the days of old. I write nightly the future history of anachronism for your future children and your elderly grandparents. May they enjoy it now and time immemorial. If I'd have people take only one thing away from the show, it would be that it would be that HIV is preventable. If you're HIV negative, there's two ways you can prevent HIV. There's PrEP, pre-exposure protocol, uh, and so once a day pills, and you take it and it works like a highly effective chemical condom. But, and also, if you're, uh, but if you've already been exposed, and you didn't take the pill beforehand, there's also PEP, post-exposure protocol. Uh, and it's, you take it for two weeks afterwards, it's sort of like the morning after pill. But you take it for two weeks. So once a day pill you take for two weeks and it's 99% effective at preventing HIV, even after the fact. If it started within the first 72 hours, you gotta condense that down into, I don't know. But PEP is an important thing for people to know about too. And then, uh, uh, but if you're already HIV positive like me, treatment is prevention by taking my medication every day and maintaining an undetectable viral load. It makes it so I'm not contagious. U equals U. Undetectable equals untransmissible. You could fuck me bareback all day long and never catch HIV from me. It's a brave new world. The future is now. And it's 1969. Pill number 950. 50 away from 1,000. 950 down the hatch. We are robot. Ah, 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 ah. Um. I love you all. Um. Yeah, I just, uh. I was all set to do a double live tonight. And, uh, I just ended up not being able to do it. Uh, my son was having a hard time tonight. Uh, uh, I know it's not fair to blame myself, but I do, right? Like, I feel like my mental illness is contagious. Like my anxiety and I don't know. Anyway. And uh, one of the things he said is that, you know, and this is one of the things that I I felt a lot in my life is just like is that I get asked if I was angry or annoyed but because he was having a hard time. And uh He's young, he's only nine. So, uh, I just felt, I felt like a real burden in the past. Uh, and, you know, I just wanted to, uh, I'm really, I don't know, just to see too much of myself in him sometimes. And, uh, I, just want, I didn't want him to feel like he had to be happy for me. That's a big burden to have to carry. It. I already swallowed the pill. Uh, thank you all for being here. I'll be more interactive soon, I hope. Um, uh, anyway, I love you all. Mwah.